we are now ready to enter the world of the Internet. A spider web of interconnected networks which span our entire globe. Here, routers and switches establish links between networks. Now, the net is an entirely different environment than you'll find within the protected walls of your LAN. Out here, it's the Wild West. Plenty of space, plenty of opportunities, plenty of things to explore and places to go. Thanks to very little control and regulation, new ideas find fertile soil to push the envelope of their possibilities. But because of this freedom, certain dangers also lurk. You'll never know when you'll meet the dreaded ping of death. A special version of a normal request ping, which some idiot thought up to mess up unsuspecting hosts. The paths our packets take may be via satellite, telephone lines, wireless, or even transoceanic cable. They don't always take the fastest or shortest routes possible, but they will get there. Eventually. Maybe that's why it's sometimes called the worldwide wait. But when everything is working smoothly, you can circumvent the globe five times over at the drop of a hat. Literally. And all for the cost of a local call or less. Near the end of our destination, we'll find another firewall. Depending upon your perspective as a data packet, the firewall could be a bastion of security or a dreaded adversary. It all depends on which side you're on and what your intentions are. The firewall is designed to let in only those packets that meet its criteria. This firewall is operating on ports 80 and 25. All attempts to enter through other ports are closed for business. Port 25 is used for mail packets, while port 80 is the entrance for packets from the internet to the web server. Inside the firewall, packets are screened more thoroughly. Some packets make it easily through customs, while others look just a bit dubious. Now, the firewall officer is not easily fooled, such as when this ping of death packet tries to disguise itself as a normal ping packet. For those packets lucky enough to make it this far, the journey is almost over. It's just a line up on the interface to be taken up into the web server. Nowadays, a web server can run on many things from a mainframe to a webcam to the computer on your desk. Or why not your refrigerator? With a proper setup, you can find out if you have the makings for chicken cacciatore or if you have to go shopping. Remember, this is the dawn of the net. Almost anything's possible. One by one, the packets are received, opened, and unpacked. The information they contain, that is, your request for information, is sent on to the web server application. The packet itself is recycled, ready to be used again, and filled with your requested information. addressed, and sent out on its way back to you. Back past the firewall, routers, and on through to the internet. Back through your corporate firewall. And on to your interface. Ready to supply your web browser with the information you requested. That is, this film.
pleased with their efforts and trusting in a better world, our trusty data packets ride off blissfully into the sunset of another day, knowing fully they have served their masters well. Now isn't that a happy ending? <laughs>